So we were here. So from metaphysical, how it has happened? The vibrations, the yang force, which is responsible for repulsion, etc. That started coming out. So what kind of a movement was this? It was a repulsion. It was throwing away. Right? So throwing away in any direction. But then as a responsive force, which in our case, in Indian philosophy, we know it as manas. We know it as manas. And the repulsion which is going out, so that started getting controlled and getting attracted. And therefore, the sound came out. What was the sound? The basic sound is only three. We all know it because we are all Indians. A, U, Ma. These are the three basic sounds. The rest of the sounds you cannot make unless you make a movement of your tongue. These three basic sounds where you don't require to move your tongue. This sound, which we can say, we can imagine, we can see it as waves, they started emanating. And the other force, the attractive force, which we know as Manas in our Upanishads, it got them collected. So these waves, one, two waves, three waves, unless there were three waves together, it was not perceptible as per the Upanishads, which is known as Trisranu. The three molecules together, then only it was perceptible. So they came and they got collected as bundles. These bundles then appeared and they started from metaphysical to physical downward. They started coming down and gross. So from subtle yang to gross yin, this was the creation. This is the fundamental thing which we have to keep in our mind to understand further what we are talking about. Now, we will see how things are generated, we have seen and we are seeking an answer. So the basic, most important thing is to know what happens in the mother's womb, how everything goes on. As we know, if you know, I don't know whether all of you know it or not. In the mother's womb, a zygote is formed because of an ovum and an sperm. The magnetic force is already there because of the planetary system. The electrical force is provided by the ovum, which functions like a semiconductor and the movement given by the trigger given by the sperm and therefore the all kinds of movements and start. So there are two basic forces, magnetic and electric force. Of course, magnetic forces are of are five varieties and the electrical forces are also of five varieties, but we are not going in depth. And then all the organs start getting formed in the mother's womb and they start moving. So there are three basic layers, the ectoderm, the endoderm, and the mesoderm. And while the formation is going on, right in the mother's womb only, because of the two separations of yin and yang existences, they start getting moving and getting collected. Same thing, the yang goes up, the yin goes down, the yang goes out, the yin remains in the core and therefore you will know that what happens? 
the skin, the nerves, etc., are because of ectoderm, the organs, etc., are because of endoderm, and all this is contained because of tissues, which is mesoderm. And in the process, there are ridges for the supply of formation of this chi, and that is your meridians. When there are repeated movements in the same direction, those meridians become very obvious. Which meridians will be very obvious? The meridians where the yang chi will flow. It is the yang chi which is responsible for creation and generation. All right? So those are the meridians which were formed in the mother's womb only. Now let us see how this yin and yang we know that there are three layers. We know that there are three things. The concept of heaven, earth and human. These three is the Chinese concept. We know it. So how in our body where is heaven, where is earth and where is human? Where is that? So let us know that head is our heaven. Head is our heaven. And our trunk or body is earth. And what is human? The in-between, that is, that which is connecting the two. What is connecting the two? Yes, region. The hands and legs. And the function activity, the life itself is not because without your karmendriyas. Is the action which is known as life. So, the three levels that is heaven, earth, and human. Here they are. We, let us understand this particular slide so that we will understand everything. While in the mother's womb, a processor, a kind of a, we can say, that which is responsible for every kind of chi generation. We get food, air, and then we have original chi because of which the functional chi is generated. Now, how it is generated, where it is generated, and how it is distributed? All we know about acupuncture is or acupressure is acupuncture or acupressure is nothing but attaining, obtaining the aim of a therapy, of this therapy by regulating the chi, that means the yin chi and the yang chi. The total of yin and yang is a process. Is a process. So what is chi? It is very difficult to understand chi. If you understand chi, everything will be understood. Now chi is a process, all right. Chi is basic fabric of creation, all right. Chi is available to us in units of different waves, wavelengths. So each unit of this uh, multiple waves that is available as Chi, that is generated in the body, which is available outside and inside. In the nature also it is available. You know that for our health, we should be in harmony with the nature. Always our body and mind is in communication with the nature. If that is in harmony, then we will be in health. 
what is happening this mechanism known as triple burner mechanism which is generated and the, when the body is created of the newborn right in the womb of the mother so the three burners are generated there these three burners together they make a mechanism which is known as triple burner triple warmer mechanism or triple burner mechanism when we say triple warmer it is a mechanism that we are talking about now people have understood that there is a mechanism which is triple warmer mechanism the triple warmer mechanism which is installed in our trunk has two functions what are the functions of this triple warmer mechanism generation of every variety of chi required to run this unit this mechanism of body mind every variety of chi and distribution two things are required these are the two important important responsibilities responsibilities of this triple warmer mechanism this mechanism as you know upper burner middle burner and lower burner upper burner we have which organs or which meridians are there lungs heart and pericardium lower burner which what all we have kidney spleen and liver now another fact which you all must be knowing the chi is generated how who is responsible for generation of chi we know that chi is generated because of three things the functional chi or the two true chi true chi is the real chi the functional chi which is generated because of what let me see if we have this is slide i don't know here it is functions of the zang and fu that is solid organs zang and hollow organs what are the functions of zang and fu zang means solid organs are responsible for two things generation of chi and distribution of chi so we have five solid organs zang organs now only five organs and how many varieties of chi do we require for the function of our body and mind hundreds of varieties of chi we require and all those varieties of chi are generated only by five organs remember the hollow organs the fu organs are not generating any kind of chi solid organs are doing two jobs generation of chi and distribution of chi the hollow organs are responsible for distribution of chi and regulating the generation of chi who is generating solid organ so the regulation how much to generate and not to generate when to stop when to start generate faster all this is governed by the solid organ so what we can say we can say that like all the physiological activities in our body is controlled by our mind and everything is controlled by two systems the nervous system and the hormone and the endocrine system similarly all the activities of zang that is solid organs are controlled by hollow organs so hollow organs are like brain is to our body generation of chi what what do we mean by generation of chi the generation of chi if we have to regulate this then we have to regulate the quantity of chi generated and the quality of chi generated and if we want to talk about the distribution then it is the direction of the flow and the speed of the flow of chi if we know to manipulate and regulate these four things we can successfully treat people so this is very important 
to know what are the real functions. So a special function of kidney is transformation of essence into moving chi. And number two, reaching the original chi to every organ of the triple verbal mechanism. Of course, it is in the order of preference and priorities, which we are not discussing here. Now, what is happening? Now, let us see the flow. Now, we are ready to see the flow. This is how the things are controlled. So, if you can see this, this is the control cycle, which hardly some of us only are using. The liver generation and the chi of liver type of chi is controlled by the chi available with the gallbladder. Similarly, the chi which is generated, that is quality and quantity of the heart variety of chi is controlled by the chi available with the small intestine. Similarly, the chi which is generated the quantity and quality of chi generated by spleen is controlled by the chi available with stomach. Hello. Similarly, we know that hollow organs. So this is the first control cycle, which of course my students, they are all using it and they are very happy. But some of you may not be knowing. You ought to know that how to control the quantity of chi which is generated. What will it mean? This can accelerate the generation of chi so that the quantity of chi made available in the meridians can be more or less that can be manipulated along with the quality. Quality means how much is the yang, how much is the yin, the combination, the ratio of yin and yang. You want to see that? Maybe I have another slide. Which is the same thing. So now, now let us see the movement. Okay. Why is it stopped? See how the chi is moving. The chi is generated in the triple warmer mechanism. Now in this mechanism, this mechanism has in fact pumps. Let us see this image. This is the triple warmer mechanism. We have, we know that heart is a pump which is pumping our blood. Lungs is also a pump which is pumping the air in and out, isn't it? Now pericardium is also a pump. When we talk of heart in TCM, we do not mean the heart organ. It is the pericardium which we mean which is responsible for the organ. Heart is the blood vessels and the circulatory system which also is working like a pump. So these are generating organs, the Zhang organs or the solid organs. I hope you are able to see my cursor. Lungs, pericardium and heart which is the, in the upper burner. This is in the upper burner. Right? And this is there are three pumps here. So whatever is generated by lungs, whatever is available in the heart and whatever is available in the circulatory system, the blood vessels, 
Now they are also generating almonds. Whatever the chi they, they generate, they generate a huge range of chi. See, from very small wavelengths to larger wavelengths to larger wavelengths to larger wavelengths to larger. Now the larger wavelengths are lighter, non-substantial, and yang, and the smaller wavelengths are heavier yin wavelengths. Now when lungs suppose is generating whatever it is generating. It is like a pump, so it will pump out, it will throw out, it will throw. Now these pumps are the pumps which are throwing the chi away from the trunk from the triple one one mechanism. So it is throwing away, three throwing out in the meridians. Lungs is throwing in the long lungs, meridian. Heart is throwing in the heart, meridian. As the chi what has been generated is getting away towards the head that is heaven. From the trunk to the head, as it goes up, so because there is a pump, therefore it is going out. Therefore it is going up, and as it goes after a certain point, after a certain point, all the chi cannot go. That which is heavier remains here only, and the lighter portion, the yang portion. Goes to the large intestine meridian and reaches head. So there is this chi which is going from our trunk, the triple warmer mechanism, to head. If you raise your hands, it is the lungs which is going up to a certain point, and after that, it is the large intestine meridian which carries the yang portion of the chi generated by the lungs and pericardium or heart that is triple warmer and small intestine that carries the chi to the head what is lesser known is little known or not known to many of us is that it is not the only processor which is installed in our body which is known as triple warmer mechanism there is another processor in our body which is known as head this is also a processor this processes now the large intestine is carrying the yang chi generated by lungs triple warmer is carrying the chi of pericardium which is yang in pores uh, yang and the small intestine is carrying the yang of heart all this if it is entering from the left side it is getting processed how it is getting processed the sensory inputs there are five they also come to the head right so these sensories that is what kind of sound you are hearing what kind of things you are looking at what kind of things you are touching what kind of taste you are getting all this will go to process and change the chemistry and physics of the chi which is entering your head through large intestine triple warmer and small intestine meridians and once they are processed they are processed and processed. So what is happening? The vapor type of yang material going from large intestine, triple warmer and small intestine, they go and they get processed and they have a residential time in the head. And they are mixed up with this. Now that what is happening here is they are not again in the same they are not immediately getting the meridian they get processed and once they they are very yang very hot very non substantial but they get again heavier they get mingled you know in our brain we don't have arteries and veins we have masses of blood right and from there as we see in a, in the nature what is happening the water vapor is going up the yang portion is going up so the yang portion is going up like vapor in the large intestine triple warmer and a small intestine meridian and in the head they get fully right all your brain starts functioning everything the nervous system and the hormonal system and then they are when they get heavier, they stop. They have to get down like water droplets have to drop down from sky to earth.
Now this dropping coming back is from stomach, gallbladder, and UB. So whatever is entering through small intestine that gets processed, and they come at it comes out in, in the UB. So that which was very young that it reached and formed cloud because of certain process there condensation and all that. It has started coming down because this is heavier. So through the UV meridian, it will start coming down. Similarly, what has whatever has entered through triple warmer starts coming down on the other side. If it is going from left, it will come out from right. And if it is entering from the right, it will come out from the left. So this gallbladder, stomach and urinary bladder is bringing the net product generated by or supplied or furnished by your head. Remember, it is not only the triple warmer mechanism which is responsible to furnish the final type category of chi. We have some amendments, some processing going on in our head. Now this, these are, there are two processors which is not very well not very popularly known. These are the two processors. We have to accept it. The two processors that we have. The trunk, the triple warmer mechanism and the head. In the head, this again tries, gets from very rear. It becomes, it is congested, gets condensed and that starts coming down. As it starts coming down, what will happen? it will become more and more yin, more and more. So if this was very, very young at this level, at the level of the head. So while it is coming down, when it arrives down to your legs, the urinary bladder, gallbladder and stomach, what will happen? This will cool down, cool down, cool down, cool down. And by the time it reaches your ankle and your foot and your toenail, it becomes quite yin in nature quite yin in nature. But what is it? So therefore, what we find at the toenails, we find yin chi. Whereas when this is started, the lungs, pericardium and heart, they started pumping it like wind, wood. And as they went up, they, whatever, whatever, the all the yang force was consumed and after certain level, certain time, it was not able to push it up. And therefore, only the yang, non-substantial and very, very light vapor type of things went to head. So this is going up. Now, what is happening? We have a, another kind of three pumps right here in the legs. What are they? The lower end of our trunk, the kidney, the liver and spleen. They are also pumps. But they are different in nature. They are pumps. What kind of pump? Like if they are exhausts, then they are pulling up. These kidney, liver and spleen, all the three have the capacity to pull up, to suck in whatever has come from stomach, gallbladder and UB. They will be sucked in by the corresponding pump kidney, liver and spleen, they will raise the chi. We are reading only spleen chi is raising chi. Liver also raises, kidney also raises. These things are little known. But this is what is happening in our body. Right? So they are pushed, they are taken up and then again this is transferred. So spleen to lungs, liver to pericardium and kidney to heart. If you have understood it, it's good. How the chi is going from trunk to head and head to trunk. Like clouds, the vapors are going in the sky and coming down like water, like rain. So this is the first question. If you have any questions, you can ask me now. Otherwise, we will go to the next question, which becomes a little more tricky and you will have to use a little more of your imagination.
Okay, so if you don't have any question, it's good. You have understood it. Now we are going to understand what is chi. Chi is a process. It starts from the first phase of the process is wood. And the last phase of the process is water. Right? Hello? Yang is the active force. Yin is the responsive force. There are five phases. We know that. I shall have to share something else. Okay. So let us see this. Oh no, it's again the same thing. We have understood hollow organs are to solid organs like brain is to body. Now the process goes on. The first phase of the process is wood and the last phase of the process is water. Remember the process starts with yang. When the yang action comes, the responsive for any process, any function, this world is a world of duality. No work can be done by a single force. There has to be two force. Like if we are walking on earth, we have muscle power which is moving our legs and we have a force called friction which is also working on our legs. So muscle is working on the legs. The friction is also working on legs. The friction is yin and the muscle power is yang. If you understand this much of physics, a little bit of physics, then you should know as soon as the process starts, for example, if this is lungs and large intestine meridian, the process starts the wood phase. And now whatever chi is generated is generated by lungs. Large intestine is not generating any, any chi. Who is generating the chi? Lungs. And it is sharing the yang portion goes to the large intestine. Now in lungs meridian, the different kinds of wavelengths, different kinds of units of wavelengths, the bundle of wavelengths of chi, they are accumulated at different points. The wood point, the fire point, the earth point and the metal point of different wavelengths. They are now wood and fire, they are yang and earth and then metal and water, they are yin. Now what is happening? The same chi generated by lungs is available in Lungs meridian and the chi which has been shared, the yang portion is available in large intestine. These two are making function. These two are responsible for the first phase. Which for, So in the first phase, there are two, two kinds of chi which are functioning. Single wind is not functioning. The wind energy of the wood phase which is available from the point LU11 is not alone to complete the functions of first phase of your life or anything anywhere and any process or anything, any project. The second phase is like LU10, the second. So how this is functioning? If there is a, a force of movement, there has to be a force to discipline it. Who is the disciplining thing? That is in. So in the large intestine meridian whosoever is there, they will immediately respond to the function of wind variety in terms of metal variety. What is wind? What is wood? What kind of energy is this? This is a kickstart. This is a kind of a push. Now in order to stop a push, you need a kind of a wall. 
which will be when you want to wade through water what is happening you are putting your muscles power in the water to move and the water is resisting the movement so if this happens automatically that the response it so wind will attract a response heat will attract a response so all these kinds of energies will attract responses which are fit to discipline it now this wood variety of chi which is available at lu11 invites a response of metal variety right cold is maximum yin so no movement cannot be attracted by wind because if that is so then there will be no generation no coming no startup startup will not be possible but just push and stop push and stop that is wind so that happens with the help of metal the well point li1 is there so both of them together are working are active in the phase 1 similarly in phase 2 the chi at lu10 and li2 are working now what is happening in the later portion of the meridian as the yang is consumed and yin is remaining so the movement is slug getting sluggish it's sluggish it's sluggish so by the time you reach the elbow right it becomes very yin very deep inside your body and yin and heavy that is now metal now in by that time what is remaining in large intestine is on the fifth phase you have what you have earth and you have in the fourth phase you have fire and then in this phase you have wind now this wind is attracting earth this heat is attracting metal and because water is the maximum yin heaviest so in order to take care of this you have maximum yang at the humidity earth point of the yang meridians so these are the responsive forces the earth, the humidity dryness and coldness on the yin meridian they are the responses of the wind the heat and the humidity remember the humidity point on all yang meridians are maximum yang that is required to control the maximum yin on the last phase that is water phase so automatically because this is the same process this is same lungs and large intestine they are interconnected both of them are taking the chi towards heaven only from trunk to heaven and each of them each phase is controlled is governed by two forces nothing can be can be governed by one force so automatically reaction responsive forces are come into play at the same level of phase the first phase is governed by these two the second phase is governed by these two so they are like brains different areas of brain are governing different areas of your body and action so this is what is happening now if you want to have any clarification anyone wants to ask any question you, you are free to ask so this is now question answer session and if you want to ask anything you can ask anything if you want to ask it's good otherwise we will close the session so i hope i have made my point is it all right sir i think uh, kiran farke sir had a question yes what is it in the chat yes <laughs> you see in the brain the arteries and veins are not there 
right in the vein go to the willy circle go to the synapses go you will find lake like substance and the blood gets collected and then again it comes down through the vessels right you have rightly rightly heard you are correct you are right the arteries which are going on the jugular arteries and all that that is going and they are meeting all the blood is getting collected they are forming kind of lakes small lakes out there and then they come back again in the vessel that's what is happening in the head like clouds are going and they get condensed and they form water molecules becomes heavier and comes down that is really happening that is oh, physiology any any book will give you kiran sir are you there can you can you put on your camera have you understood okay thank you sir mera question hai sir ha boliye jagneshwar ji yes puchiye go ahead sir ask yeah. यान, तो बहुत लंबा होता है और इन मेरिडियन तो बहुत छोटा होता है तो हर पॉइंट को कैसे ये कंट्रोल करेगा व्हाट यू आर आस्किंग यांग मेरिडियन लंबा होता है व्हाट यू मीन बाय दैट लंबा होता है बोले तुम लंबा क्या होता है आपकी बॉडी लंबी और छोटी है क्या कहीं से अरे ये हाथ इधर से लंबा ज्यादा है इधर से छोटा है क्या ऐसा है क्या नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स आर मे बी मोर एंड नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स मे बी लेस हेलो मोर पॉइंट्स यू मे फाइंड पॉइंट्स मींस देखो जगदीश आई शेल टेल यू इन हिंदी वेट 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 आई शेल आई शेल टेल यू इन हिंदी अगर आपके घर में एसिड है सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड और आपके घर में पानी पीने का भी है दोनों को एक ही तरह के बर्तन में रख सकते हैं क्या एसिड को रखने के लिए अलग प्रकार का बर्तन चाहिए और पानी को रखने के लिए अलग प्रकार का बर्तन चाहिए चाहिए कि नहीं हेलो जो हाँ जितना रिएक्टिव होगा जो जितना रिएक्टिव सब्सटेंस होगा केमिकल होगा उसके लिए उतना स्पेशल वेसल चाहिए रिएक्टिव ज्यादा कौन है सेंसिटिव ज्यादा कौन है यांग हमेशा यांग मेरिडन में अलग अलग प्रकार के बर्तन माने एक्यूमुलेशन पॉइंट एक एक्यूमुलेशन पॉइंट पर अलग पर अलग अलग प्रकार हर एक्यूमुलेशन पॉइंट पर अलग प्रकार की चीज एक्यूमुलेट होती है एक ही पॉइंट पर सारे प्रकार की चीज एक्यूमुलेट नहीं हो सकती है देर फोर उड पॉइंट पर उड वेराइटी की चीज जाती है जितनी भी उड वैरायटी की वेवलेंस होंगी बनेंगी दे विल कम एंड गेट डिपॉजिटेड इन टू उन इन दैट आल्सो देयर आर देयर इज अ रेंज इन उड आल्सो एट उड पॉइंट द ची व्हिच इज गेटिंग अकुमुलेटेड दैट आल्सो हैज अ रेंज ऑफ वेवलेंस यू गॉट इट हेलो जगनेश्वर समझ में आ रही है हां सर तो अलग-अलग पॉइंट अब यांग चूंकि ज्यादा रिएक्टिव है अलग-अलग प्रकार के केमिकल है बहुत से वो इससे भी एक्ट करता है उससे भी एक्ट करता है इससे भी एक्ट और इन में तो अल्टीमेटली कोल्डनेस में जाके लगभग इनर्ट हो जाता है सब्सटेंस समझ में आ रही है कि नहीं ऑक्सीजन कितना एक्टिव है हर चीज के साथ एक्ट करता है नहीं? और दूसरे जो इनर्ट सब्सटेंस है वो नाइट्रोजन काम नहीं करता किसी के साथ में रिएक्ट नहीं करता हेलो रेखा यू वांट टू आस्क समथिंग नो सर सॉरी प्लीज कीप योर सेल्फ म्यूट जगनेश्वर आपकी समझ में आया हर एक्यूमुलेशन पे एक्यूमुलेशन पॉइंट पर एक्यू पॉइंट क्या है एक्यूमुलेशन पॉइंट उसका बहुत सा एक्सप्लेनेशन देने लगते हैं लोग एक्यू पॉइंट पतला है सुई है उसका पॉइंट है सब एक्यूमुलेशन में ची इज गेटिंग एक्यूमुलेटेड सब्सटेंशियल अमाउंट ऑफ ची इज गेटिंग एक्यूमुलेटेड एट डिफरेंट प्लेसेस व्हेन देयर इज अ सब्सटेंशियल अमाउंट ऑफ ची वी यूज इट फॉर ट्रीटमेंट नाउ रिमेंबर हर फेज में दो प्रकार के बल काम करते हैं यीन और यांग प्रकार का राइट right? कैसे बनता वो रिस्पांस है जो अट्रैक्ट करते हैं विंड ने किसको अट्रैक्ट किया मेटल को अट्रैक्ट किया देर फोर वो फर्स्ट फेज में यही दोनों रहेंगे फर्स्ट फेज कहा है ग्राउंड लेवल पे और हमारी पोजीशन कैसी है 
बीजी में रिटर्न वाली पोजीशन इज द रियल पोजीशन ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ फेजेस मीनिंग देयर बाय ऑल द टोज एंड द फिंगर नेल्स शुड बी एट द ग्राउंड लेवल दैट इज द फर्स्ट फेज इज द नेल फेज सेकंड फेज इज नकल फेज थर्ड फेज इज रिस्ट फेज राइट आप देखो ना मेरी बात आप देखो ध्यान से देखो एल यू नाइन स्ट्रीम पॉइंट है कहां पर है रिस्ट पे रिस्ट पे है दैट इज थर्ड पॉइंट इज ऑन द रिस्ट लुक एट स्प्लीन मेरेडियन उसका एंकल जॉइंट जो करस्पॉन्डेंस है रिस्ट के जैसा पैर में कौन है एंकल जॉइंट है ना एंकल जॉइंट में कौन सा पॉइंट है स्प्लीन मेरेडियन का फोर्थ फेज का ची है तो बाई द टाइम द इन ची ऑफ लंग्स अराइव एट द रिस्ट विच इज अर्थ उतने समय में एंकल जॉइंट में जाकर के मेटल आ गया फोर्थ फेज आ गया क्यों क्योंकि वहां पर बहुत यांग है स्प्लीन मेरिडन में बहुत यांग है लिवर मेरिडन में बहुत यांग है नहीं बिल्कुल क्लाउड बन के गया था बहुत स्टीम वहां पर जाकर कंडेंस हुआ तब वहां से जब कंडेंस हो गया वेपर तो नीचे आ रहा है तो बिल्कुल यांग से फिर धीरे 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 ठंडा होता हुआ आ रहा है ठीक है समझ में आ रही बात है ना तो चौथ उसका अब ये भी लोग नहीं जानते हैं बहुत से लोग चौथा पॉइंट इसका एंकल जॉइंट में है और उसका तो तीसरा ही पॉइंट आप आया ओनली बिकॉज स्प्लीन इज मोर या लिवर फोर अगेन फोर्थ फेस इट इज ऑन द एंकल जॉइंट राइट बट दैट इज नॉट सो विथ किडनी so therefore kidney must be very young though there is two kidneys water kidney and fire kidney fire kidney is definitely more young but even water kidney is very young is a both complicated a come back again the in the basic basic one and basic two you must repeat time and again to understand all these complication yes any other question sir yes kiran falke sir i shall uh, share this in the group uh, this recording so that whosoever wants to listen the initial portion of course i couldn't record but whatever is recorded you will get it in the group only i shall post the recording which will remain minimum for 4 days and in that period you can download keep it store it whatever you want and if you have any questions you can always ask Okay. So, if there is no question, we will close the session. Good night. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Good night.